Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Each Way, and I'm Gage. And I'm Andy. And today we're going to be doing Eat on the Road. So, Gage surprised me with a trip to Maine, and I'm so excited. I haven't been here in four years, and I love the state. It is so beautiful, great food, great scenery. And I can't wait to show you guys what Maine has to offer. Yep. So we're gonna spend a few days in Portland at the moment for about, uh, for about like four days. And then after our four days are up, we're gonna go to Bar Harbor. So as of right now, we're just settling in and we're about to go head out. So Andy, where are we going? Uh, we're going to the old port uh, grill and raw bar for Ooh, dinner tonight. That sounds pretty good. So right now we're heading towards the downtown area and it's about a 10 minute walk from where we're staying at so it's not too terribly far. Uh, you got Shipyard Brewing Company over there for some nice beer. So may stop there. Who knows? We'll see. Babe, say that one more time. It says stay wicked far apart. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are at Old Port Sea uh, Grill and Raw Food. Gage and I just ordered our meals, and we are patiently waiting. So, Andy, what are about to eat now? We are about to eat some fried calamari. As you can see here, it looks delicious, scrumptious. I can't wait to dig in. All right, so what do you think about the little restaurant that we went to? I think it was really good for just like the first night, just, you know, a little taste for you of how Maine is and the lobster. Um, Pretty nice. The lobster was really good there. I had the lobster linguine, and I give it about a good like 8.5, 9. I give it a 9. You give yours I give it a 9. The, nine. the veggies were good. The main course of the lobster was really good. Um, trying to cross the street over here yes and our waitress Rebecca give her a little shout out was awesome spot on with everything couldn't ask more of a waitress so thank we you we love her so much so if you guys do go to that restaurant ask for Rebecca she is awesome she's super sweet super awesome so it was a good service for her yep <laughs> All right, we're on day two of our little trip. It is morning time, which means it's coffee time. <laughs> yes, yeah, so where are we heading, Andy? Uh, we're going to head down to Coffee by Design. Uh, we found a little coffee shop uh, just up the street of our Airbnb, so we're gonna try that out. <laughs> yes, and then after that, we're gonna go hit up some museums, maybe do a little shoppy shop. Yeah, it's supposed to be quite a rainy day, so we were like, let's just have an indoor kind of museum and shopping day. Yep, all right, see you guys around. I just wish it was a little bit of a stronger blend, like a dark roast coffee, but it's very good. It's gonna perk me up in the morning, so now time for the little biscotti dip. Mm. Mm -hmm. When we come back down here, we can look around and shop and browse. <laughs> hey, babe. Yes. You coming off the. <laughs> So Andy, where are we at now? We are at the Pute, uh, Puteland. 
Portland Museum of Art right now. So there's a big old seven and we're gonna head right in. Hey guys, we're back. And so we are at Flatbread Company. So they serve pizzas, flatbread, some salads. It smells amazing in here. We are watching on the side, right here on my left. We have a whole kitchen going on, making flatbreads, pizzas. This guy is working it to the mix, and it is, it smells amazing. I, I, I'm so excited for this restaurant. <laughs> It is delicious. This tomato sauce is so fresh. The cheese is on point. All the ingredients, the toppings, the caramelized onions. I added all this on my side because I like me some olives, but it's super good. You gotta dig it. You gotta try this place if you go to Maine for the flatbreads and pizzas. so good. The brownies are awesome, especially with the chocolate sauce. Good morning, my little foodies. It is day three-ish, well, two and a half really in Maine. We are right now at Coffee Me Up Cafe. I am enjoying a wonderful uh, chocolate croissant pastry. We are currently waiting for our other stuff. We ordered some coffee, some breakfast sandwiches. Um, pastry is really, really good. Uh, they just have a quick in and out service, but it's pretty, pretty good. Hey guys, so we just got our food and I'm trying to figure out everything. Oh, it's hot! All right, set this one down. This one looks like mine. Yep, this one's mine. So let's take a bite into this. What'd you get? So I got the egg cheese avocado with their house spread. Let's see this. Mmm. It's really good. It's very creamy. The spread has like a nice peppery kind of taste. It's more um, vegetable like than like spice. So, wow, this is really good. The eggs are cooked well. The cheese, I think it's provolone. It's all a nice healthy mix. It's not too, too much where you're, how I say, it, like you're eating like a gigantic heavy breakfast. It's very nice, light, airy. So this is a pretty good little start of the day. Oh my god, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> this is, uh, oh, you can hear the bells. This is called the Sticky Bun Latte. It has like a cinnamon, maple, apple in it. Almost tastes like you're eating a sticky bun. Oh, that's so good. All right, my food. I don't even remember what I got. You have oh, I had the mustard. What did I have? The mustard. No, I must ham and something. It's, and it's a apple. breakfast special. It is I a know breakfast that. special. Good God, this thing's like big and.
Pretty good. Strong with the eggs, strong with the bacon. You get that apple butter in the bottom of it. Apple butter is a really nice touch. Mm, not bad. I like it. Mm. Hey, we're back again. So where are we going now, Andy? So we are going to the Costco Bay um, terminal to take a ride to Peaks Island. Ooh, okay, okay. So we need to get there at two o'clock, get our tickets so we can catch the ferry and head towards Peaks Island. Yeah, so right now we are uh, currently speed walking as fast as we can <laughs> because the boat leaves at like 2.15 and is already at like two o'clock. Yep. <laughs> so we are kind of booking it. A little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, so we'll keep you guys posted until then. <laughs> so we found a little bit of a scenic route here in Peaks Route. What did I say? We found a scenic route here in Peaks Island. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I, I want to go into this little island there and just chill for a minute or two. So let's go. We found a rope swing. It is a bit sturdy. Oh, it's been up this long. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, I don't know. I definitely gotta get this on camera. Ready? Use that upper body strength. Tower. Just a little that rock tower. Who knows? Maybe somebody can continue it on. So Andy, where are we at? We are at the abandoned battery steel here in Peaks Island. Wow. All right, coming in. That looks like the sign of death over there. Down that way? Yes. Probably. No, that looks like death over here. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well. Whew. That's one way. To worship a little lot of sex. Alright. Alright, are you ready for this? No, but this is things we do for YouTube, so let's go. Jeez. Oh, I can't. I can see a lot. Alright, I got my flashlight on too. Alright, you ready? Yep. Jeez. 
just imagine walking down here like, when it's not even light outside? Oh yeah, it would be really good to be outside. Like, luckily, there's like more people. Oh, like, there's the holding facility. Yeah, like gateways and stuff. Holy crap, they got like super cold. All these like cement walls and everything. So, we're a food channel, right? <laughs> nope, wait, we're now doing paranormal activity, guys. <laughs> This is crazy. Oh my god. I don't know how people can come in here, do all this cool graffiti, and not get freaked out or anything. This is insane. As I say, be very careful when you're next to these uh, open facilities. people. Yeah. Luckily this is not like super bad anywhere I'm like a tourist. No, yet. no, 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 no. This is like one of like the spots that if you search up an article, they say you're gonna go to this place to explore a little bit. So yeah. it's, it's not like abandoned and like nobody shall come here. Sure. <laughs> Never been so happy to see my tire swing. So we are here at Gorgeous Gelato, right beside me, and they have amazing Italian-made gelato, all homemade. They have vegan options, they also have just regular. I am right now eating the Gorgeous, which is a vanilla ice cream with caramel and chocolate bits in it. Super creamy, and it's not too overly sweet. It's just a perfect mixture of everything. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah, man. Good morning, good morning. We are on day four. four. <laughs> day four. Hard to believe we've been here for four days. I know, we've been having so much fun. It's like... Non-stop. Uh, Non-stop, exactly. So what are we doing today, Andy? Uh, so we are heading to the Standard Baking Company. They yeah. have amazing pastries. I know the last time I was in Maine, we probably went there every day for breakfast just for the pastries and the coffee. Ooh, okay. So um, after we get our little bricky, we're gonna go and see some whales. Yeah, so we're gonna go see some whales today because today or this time of the year, um, whales come up to Portland, Maine because it's their feeding ground time. So that is what we're gonna be doing. So keep you guys posted. So we got our food and all that. Uh, so Andy, what'd you get? I got bread. <laughs> she got bread. Uh, so this is the rosemary focaccia bread. Let me take this out for you guys. Oh my goodness, look at that. So glorious. So crispy, crackety. I was low key about to take a bite. Almost looks like a giant Ritz cracker. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You want a bite? Nah, I'm okay. <laughs> I got my food. Super good. I'll eat it later. <laughs> oh. So our next thing is, I believe this is mine. This is the morning bun with walnuts in it. Mm -hmm. Super juicy. Smells amazing. 
Gage has. Here is his prosciutto and asiago croissants. As you can see in the middle there, it says prosciutto. Or actually in the middle. And then he has his raspberry. Is it raspberry that you got? Yep. Raspberry uh, galette. Simple little pastry. So we also got some coffee. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to eat. And we're going to eat, and then we're going to go see some whales. <laughs> So we just got back from looking at the, uh, well, doing the whale watching. Yep. Uh, so Andy, how was your experience? Pitiful. <laughs> it was, it was, um, it was a three and a half long hour ride and I fell probably asleep and sick for most of the, uh, journey up yeah, there. Yeah, so we didn't get to see any whales, unfortunately. No. Uh, I mean, there was great views, don't get me wrong. Um, I don't know, it was just so long, overdone, and it was just, it was, I think it's a good experience if you do see the whales, but like, I wouldn't do it again necessarily. Yeah. We did see like glimpses of like little seals, but that's about it. Yeah, and maybe some birds in the harbor and the lighthouses here in Portland, but no whales. No whales. <laughs> All right, so right now we're just gonna be heading get some lobster rolls and maybe some coffee. So we'll keep you guys posted on everything. Hey, we are back and about. So here's Andy right oh, there. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, so now uh, we just got back from what we were doing, and now we're about to get on the uh, trolley and take a look around the island of Portland, check out the lighthouses, maybe some hidden gems, um, and see what's there that Portland has to offer. Catch you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so we are currently at Gilbert's Chowder House. Um, they're very well known for their chowders, so I'm very excited to have a main lobster roll. Um, Gage has a claim chowder going on, so we are ready for dinner. I am starving and I can't wait to eat. <laughs> 